let's say that the existing document that you're working with needs to be sized to a different resolution than what the current size is. Uh, simply click image, image size, and it'll show you what the current resolution is. Uh, you'll notice that the current size here is 75.958 inches by 50.625 at a resolution of 72. And that's pretty large. Let's say that we actually want to use this photograph for a Facebook timeline header. And we definitely need to scale it down. So first thing we're going to do is change the uh, dimensions from inches to pixels. And you can see what our pixel width and height is. And you'll remember from a previous video that the dimensions for the Facebook timeline cover is 851 and you'll notice that automatically it sizes the image to a height of 567 which is actually higher than what our um, height needs to be for our final version and uh, if we wanted to actually uh, adjust the image to the literal pixels here you'll notice we have this uh, little chain if I click on that and turn it off, then I can rescale the height independently of the width. If I have it selected, everything scales dynamically, keeping the photograph, in this case, in direct proportion. So if I choose 851 and click OK, it'll scale the image down to the, the actual size, and then we can crop it to get to our final um, dimension height of 315 pixels. Now you also notice that the image has gotten a lot smaller on the screen. And so the easiest way to zoom in on the image, you have two options. One is to actually come over to the toolbar and click on the zoom and just click zooming it in until you get it to the size that you wanna work with, which this is actually at 100% right here. The other option is if you're on a PC, you can use control plus and minus. If you're on a Mac, you can use command plus or minus. And by choosing those options, it also allows you to zoom in or out. Now, along with the scaling, we also have an option. You'll notice from before we imported other images and they're in tab form. And let's say that we want to take this image of Dexter and combine it with our sunset picture here. The easiest way to do that in this newer version of Photoshop is to click our Move tool, left mouse click and drag this character onto the tab where we want him to go and then release it. And it instantly moves him from the tab that he was on, which he's still there, it's just a copy, but it moves it and places it into our image here. Now, an alternative way of doing that is to copy and paste and I'll show you how to do that as well but before I do I want to point out that you'll notice that whenever I uh, moved him into this document that over here in the layers pilot he is actually now on his own layer and the original is still here as the background file and Dexter was added to a layer above him and that happens by default Okay, so uh, it works very seamlessly. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can also copy and paste. You can use the, uh, the keystroke uh, command of Control or Command A to select all. Then Control or Command C to copy. And then come over to your document and use Control or Command V to paste. And you get the same end result except that whenever the uh, new file is pasted, it's pasted centered, as you can see here. If I turn off the original one that we had uh, dragged over into our document, you'll notice that whenever I pasted it, it pasted it absolutely centered. Now, you actually, whenever you're pasting an image into an existing document, you can actually control where its positioning will paste into using a little trick and uh, 
I'll just show you this trick since we're talking about this. If you choose the rectangular marquee tool, and let me actually delete this guy here. I'm just going to click the trash can. And so that'll delete the layer. Yes, I want to delete. Now, I'm going to, with the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to draw just a little box. It doesn't have to be any particular size. I'm just going to put it down here in, in the lower left-hand corner. And so this selection is here. There's nothing in it. You notice that there's no new layers or anything like that. But what happens is that now whenever I choose Paste, Control-V, or you can access uh, Copy and Paste from the Edit menu, you'll see Copy and Paste are right here. Okay. But when I hit uh, Control or Command-V now, the what will happen is the rectangular marquee selection will control where the image will paste. Watch. So now the image pastes centered on the selection that I had selected. And of course, the selection that was made vanishes whenever the document pastes. And it also still pastes it into its own layer. So you can actually have some control over where your document paste if you need that control. But by default, it will paste to the absolute center of the existing image that you're pasting into.